Hi, my name is Alex Mullins. I'm a program manager working on Visual Studio Team Services. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new package management features we've added to VSTS. In this video, we'll walk through a demo of the package management experience and then look at some scenarios where package management fits into your continuous delivery workflow. Specifically, we'll look at how to discover and use packages from a VSTS NuGet feed in Visual Studio and how to integrate package management with your existing team builds. Package management enables scenarios where your team needs to share package software components within the team or with other teams. At Connect, we're launching in public preview with support for NuGet packages, and we'll be adding support for package types like NPM in the coming months. We've built package management to be deeply integrated with other VSTS hubs like Code, Build, and Release so that package management can become a seamless part of your existing workflows. In package management, we store packages in feeds. Feeds are an organizing construct that let you group and manage your packages logically. Feeds also let you control access to your packages with simple permissions for readers, contributors, and owners. And feeds are where you'll tell package clients like Visual Studio and NuGet.exe to find your packages. Now, let's take a look around. Package management is built as a VSTS extension, so to use it, I'll first need to install it from the marketplace. For this demo, I've already gone through the installation. If you're following along, just install the package management and NuGet package management extensions. Now, once I've installed the extensions, all of the projects in my account have a new package hub. Let's take a look around. Before we do, I'll set up the scenario. For this demo, I'm creating a new physics-based game. Another team at my company has already created a physics engine codebase that they've published as a NuGet package and I want to reuse that package in my game. So let's head to the package hub to find it. On the left, I can see all of the feeds in my account. It's important to note that in package management, all feeds are at the account level, even though the user experience appears within a particular project. We did this to enable consumption of packages from feeds across projects. For instance, the physics engine package I want to reuse was produced by the physics engine project. However, I don't need to go there to find it. Instead, I'm going to select the physics engine release feed while I'm here in the new physics game project. Once I've selected a feed, I can see a list of all the packages in, the, in it. I'm going to select the physics engine package. When I do, I can see various details about the package from its manifest, as well as some commands to install it. Since I want to use this package in a Visual Studio project, I'm now going to add the feed as a package source in the Visual Studio NuGet package manager. To do so, I'll first copy the URL from the connect to feed pop-up. Then I can open Visual Studio, open the NuGet package manager, go to the options, and add a new package source. Now I can install the physics engine package into my project, just as I had installed a package from NuGet.org. There's one more thing I need to do. I need to update my continuous integration builds to ensure they can also restore the physics engine package because that package lives in an authenticated feed. As part of the package management release, we've updated the NuGet installer and NuGet publisher build tasks to understand authenticated feeds. So if I edit my build, add a new build step, I can simply go to the package category and add the NuGet installer task and my CI build will be good to go. That was a quick look at the new public preview of the package management service in VSTS. We'll be building out more features in the service in the coming months, so stay tuned for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.